Hi, I'm Josh Whiteman with Garage Gurus, and for today's tech tip, we're gonna go over compression testing using the Pico 7 software and pressure transducer. This is an awesome test to be able to do for a number of reasons. It's gonna give us an actual calculated numerical value of the PSI for each cylinder using a relative compression test and an in-cylinder pressure transducer. When we talk about our diagnostic fee, there's times when it becomes tough to, you know, let's say charge 200 bucks, go out to a car and crank it and tell the customer that it sounds funny and they need a new engine. This is gonna give us something that we can print out or attach to a, a uh, inspection or an invoice that's going to give us, again, more concrete evidence in terms of what's going on. So I'm gonna jump over to the vehicle and I'm gonna set up the equipment so you guys see what that looks like now. So we have simply removed the spark plug. We have inserted our hose like you would on a normal compression test. Now we are gonna turn our, our pressure transducer and connect it to the vehicle. So this will have to be on channel A on our Pico. And for channel B, all we have to do is connect our normal scope lead to the positive and negative battery terminals. At that point, that's all we have to do on the car. We can jump over to our laptop now. And this is the Pico Diagnostics software. We could do a number of tests on here, ranging from you know, battery testing, compression testing, cylinder balance. I mean, we could balance a drive shaft if we have the optical attachment. But for today, we're gonna focus on the compression test. At the bottom, you can see here, it's got a number of different options to select. This is a V6, so we're gonna select six here. You can do this test without the pressure transducer, but it's not gonna give you an actual calculated PSI. In this case, we have the pressure transducer, so we're gonna select pressure. We're gonna come down and we're gonna select use pressure sensor and we're gonna put in the capacity of the engine. This particular engine is a 3.6 liter, so we're gonna select 3,600 cc's. It may not be perfectly spot on, but it's accurate enough for this test. And then we're gonna to wanna to look up the compression ratio. This particular compression ratio is actually 11.5 to one. So we'll set that in there. So our settings are all set up. What we're gonna do now is hit start tells us to make sure the throttle is held fully open, which is gonna be fine because we're able to use clear flood mode on this vehicle anyways. So as you can see, it prompts you to crank the vehicle for six seconds. So you need to make sure you have a nice fully charged battery once the test is done, it's gonna give you these nice, pretty looking bar graphs. And what it's really doing is it's using the pressure transducer to get the raw value from the actual cylinder pressure. And it's going to compare that to a relative compression waveform behind the scenes. And it's gonna equate the pressure to that specific cylinder amperage spike. And it's going to give you a relative compression reading in, in an actual PSI for the rest of the remaining cylinders. When you set it up, you're entering in the engine capacity and the compression ratio. And the computer is going to calculate what the minimum pressure should be based off that calculation. You can see with the values we've entered, 174 PSI is what Pico has calculated the minimum spec should be. You can still refer back to your service information and see what your service information says, but it's normally fairly accurate. This test again is awesome because it gives us something, you know, tangible proof that we can hand to a customer. If there's a problem with the car, we can give them this printout instead of just saying, yeah, I cranked it and it sounded a little bit funny. So hopefully you guys are able to use this in the shop to boost and bolster your diagnostic value. Moving forward in the industry, this is probably something that we're gonna have to consider. Uh, social media has played a big part in that, you know? So hopefully you guys have value in this. If you guys are interested in more uh, information on how to use your scope and diagnostic process, check out our website, gurusplus.com.
www.ghostbusters.com for more information. I'm Josh Whiteman. Thanks for watching.